What's up YouTube? I'm back with another video. This is my slides. Chapter 20, Reproductive System, Human Physiology. I hope you all enjoy. Comment, like, subscribe uh, real quick. Like, I'm going to show you this because this is what we're going to go over. Uh, GnRH is a gonadotrophin releasing hormone. GnRH is gonadotrophin releasing hormone. GnRH is gonadotrophin releasing hormone. FSH, follicle stimulating hormone. FSH, follicle stimulating hormone. FSH, follicle stimulating hormone. LH, luteinizing hormone. LH, luteinizing hormone. LH, luteinizing hormone. <clears throat> Male reproductive system. Organs are designed to produce sperm, transport sperm to eggs. Primary sexual organs, gonads, produce sperm and hormones. Secondary sexual organs have a supportive function. Male reproductive system. Uh, organs are designed to uh, produce sperm, transport sperm to eggs. Primary sexual organs are the gonads um, in the male reproductive system. Uh, gonads produce sperm and hormones. Secondary sexual organs have support, supportive functions. Uh, male reproductive organs, uh, posterior, um, seminal vesicles, ejaculatory duct, obethral gland, vas deferens, prostate gland, urinary bladder, ureter, um, some of it's cut off, so I can't really tell what that is. Male reproductive system. Testes, semen, fibrillus, tubules, where spermatogenesis occurs. Sertoli cells contain receptors for, uh, receptor proteins for follicle stimulating hormones. Uh, testes, semen, Various tubules where spermatogenesis occurs. Sertoli cells contain receptor proteins for follicle stimulating hormones. Uh, interstitial Leydig cells secrete testosterone contain receptor proteins for uh, luteinizing hormones. Interstitial Leydig cells secrete testosterone, contain receptor proteins for luteinizing hormones. Interstitial uh, Leydig cells secrete testosterone, contains receptors for uh, uh, luteinizing hormones. Hypothalamus secretes gonadotrophin releasing hormone uh, to the anterior pituitary anterior pituitary secretes a uh, follicle stimulating hormone to the semen femoralis tubules uh, secretes spermatogenesis and uh, anterior pituitary also releases uh, to the luteinizing hormone uh, which secretes interstitial Leydig cells or, or testosterone then they send inhibitory signals back to the anterior pituitary the Leydig cells send them to the hypothalamus as well. Um, hypothalamus sends gonadotrophin releasing hormone to the anterior pituitary. Anterior pituitary sends a uh, follicle stimulating hormone to uh, the semen furbulous tubules, which creates spermatogenesis. Anterior pituitary also releases luteinizing hormones to the interstitial Leydig cells, which uh, create testosterone. Uh, Semifurbulous tubules and interstitial Leydig cells send uh, negative feedback to uh, the anterior pituitary. And the Leydig cells also send negative feedback to the hypothalamus uh, to create, to uh, tell them to quit secreting uh, spermatogenesis and testosterone. Testosterone secretion. Uh, initiation and maintenance of body changes during puberty. Growth of muscles, larynx, and bones. Hemato uh, hemoglobin synthesis. 
acts as paracrine fashion to support spermatogenesis. Um, testosterone secretion initiates maintenance of body changes during puberty, growth of muscles, larynx, and bones. Hemoglobin synthesis acts in paracrine fashion to support spermatogenesis. Testosterone secretion initiates maintenance of body changes during puberty, growth of muscles, larynx, and bones. Hemoglobin synthesis acts in paracrine fashion to support spermatogenesis. <clears throat> Estrogen secretion. Sir, uh, sir Tolly and Lydig cells secrete small amounts of estradiol. Estrogen secretion. Sir Tolly and Lydig cells secrete small amounts of estradiol. Sir Tolly and Lydig cells secrete small amounts of estradiol. Uh, estradiol may be responsible for negative feedback in brain sealing of epiphyseal plates, regulatory function, and fertility. Estradiol may be responsible for negative feedback in the brain sealing for uh, of epiphyseal plates, sealing of epiphyseal plates, uh, and regulatory function in infertility uh, can be the things that estradiol is responsible for. Male accessory organs, uh, epididymis, maturational changes, resistance to pH changes in temperature, uh, as well as storage. Male accessory organs, epididymis, prostate secretions, semin seminal vesicles, epididymis, uh, maturation changes, resistance to pH changes in temperature as well as storage epididymis maturational changes resistance to ph changes in temperature uh, as well as storage prostate secretes alkaline fluid citric acid calcium coagulation proteins keep sperms together prostate secretes alkaline fluid citric acid calcium coagulation proteins Keep sperm together, male accessory organs, prostate, secretes alkaline fluid, citric acid, calcium, coagulation proteins, keep sperm together. Seminal vesicles secrete fructose, male accessory organs, seminal vesicles secrete fructose, seminal vesicles secrete fructose, seminal vesicles secrete fructose. Uh, Erection, emission, and ejaculation. Erection, uh, increase in vasodilation of penile arterioles. Uh, NO is uh, nitrous oxide in the neurotransmitter. Blood flow into erectile tissue of the penis. Erection, increase in vasodilation of penile arterioles. Nitrous oxide uh, is the neurotransmitter. Blood flows into the erectile tissue of the penis. Emission, movement of semen into the urethra. Emission, movement of semen into the urethra. Ejaculation, forcible expulsion of semen from urethra out of the penis. Ejaculation, forcible expulsion of semen from the urethra out of the penis. Penile erection mechanisms, sexual stimulation, parasympathetic neurons release nitric oxide causing dilation of small arterioles, ar arteries to penis. Veins are compressed, reducing blood flow away from penis. Blood accumulates in the vascular space within the rectal tissue of penis. Penis swells and becomes erect. Penile uh, erection mechanisms. Sexual stimulation. Parasympathetic neurons release nitric oxide, causing dilation of small arteries to penis. Veins are compressed, reducing blood flow away from penis. Blood accumulates in the vascular space within erectile tissue of penis. Penis swells and become erect. I got the urethra. 
the corpus sponginosum. That's the spongy stuff around the urethra. And here we got the corpus cavernosum. Uh, mission and ejaculatory mechanism. Culmination of intense sexual stimulation. Sympathetic impulses contract smooth muscles. Rhythmic contractions in erectile columns of penis. Peristaltic contractions in testicular ducts. Epididymis vest deferentria and ejaculatory ducts, rhythmic contractions in bulbethral glands, prostate gland, and seminal vesicles. Emissions of semen move into urethra, ejaculatory ejaculate, ejaculation, semen is forcefully expelled from urethra. Emissions and ejaculation mechanism. Culmination of intense sexual stimulation, sympathetic Impulse contraction, smooth muscle, rhythmic contractions in erectile columns of penis, peristaltic contractions in testicular ducts, epididymis, vas deferentia, in ejaculatory ducts, rhythmic contractions in bulbethral glands, in uh, prostate gland, in seminal vesicles, emission of semen moves into urethra, ejaculatory. Ejaculation semen is forcefully expelled from urethra. Normal volume of ejaculate is one to uh, five milliliters. Normal volume of ejaculate is one to five milliliters. Sixty to one hundred and fifty million sperm per milliliter in ejaculate. Sixty to one hundred and fifty million sperm per milliliter in ejaculate. Vasectomy. Vas deferens and scrotum. Vas deferens carries the sperm to your urethra. Female reproductive system. The organs of the female reproductive system are specialized to produce and maintain the eggs, transport these cells to the site of fertilization, provide a favorable environment for the development of fetus, Give birth, produce female sex hormones, female reproductive system. The organs of the female reproductive system are specialized to produce and maintain the eggs, transport these cells to the site of fertilization, provide a favorable environment for the developing fetus, give birth, produce female sex hormones. The primary sexual organs uh, gonads are the ovaries. The primary sexual organs for the female are the ovaries. Primary sexual organs for the female are the ovaries. Uh, for the male, it's the testicles or gonads. Uh, the other parts of the system comprised of external and internal accessory secondary sexual organs. The other parts of the system comprised of external and internal accessory secondary sexual organs of the female reproductive system. <clears throat> there is a continual loss of one uh, percent oocyte throughout life, five month gestation, six to seven million oocytes, birth, two million oocytes, puberty, 400,000 oocytes. There is a continual loss of 1% oocytes throughout life. Five months gestation, six to seven million oocytes, birth, two million oocytes, puberty, 400,000 oocytes. 400 oocytes are ovulated during reproductive years. This rest undergoes, or the rest undergo apoptosis. 400 oocytes are ovulated during reproductive years. The rest undergo apoptosis. Uh, got the follicle, the egg, the uterine tube. Uh, erection, lubrication, and orgasm, female, orgasm. 
Sexual stimulation, arteries in the erectile tissue dilate, vagina expands, and elongates. Engorged and swollen vagina, increased friction from movement of penis, orgasm, rhythmic contraction of muscles of the perineum, muscular walls of the uterus, and uterine tubes contract. Erection, lubrication, and orgasm, female. Sexual stimulation, arteries in the erectile tissue dilate, vagina expands, and elongates. Engorged and swollen vagina increases friction from the movement of penis. Orgasm, rhythmic contraction of muscles of the perineum, muscular walls of the uterus and uterine tubes contract. Sexual stimulation of the uh, erection, lubrication, and orgasm, female. Sexual stimulation, parasympathetic nerves, nerve impulses from the sacral portion of the spinal cord. Sexual stimulation intensifies vestibular glands secrete mucus to lubricate. Orgasm, rhythmic contraction of the muscle of the perineum, muscular walls of uterus and uterine tubes contract, erection, lubrication, and orgasm, female. Sexual stimulation, parasympathetic nerves impulses from the sacral portion of the spinal cord. Sexual stimulation intensifies vestibular glands secrete mucus to lubricate, orgasm, Rhythmic contraction of muscles of the perineum, muscular walls of the uterus and uterine tubes contract. Boom. Oh my gosh. There's a lot of information in here. Uh, uh, this is the menstrual phases. The hypothalamus secretes gonadotrophin-releasing hormone hormone to the anterior pituitary the anterior pituitary secretes follicle stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone to the ovaries uh, estradiol goes up increasing sensitivity of follicles to uh, follicle stimulating hormone growth of follicles estradiol goes up positive feedback to anterior pituitary uh Luteinizing hormone uh, to the ovaries, uh, which creates ovulation. Empty follicle becomes corpus luteum. Estradiol and progesterone uh, continues to uh, rise. Negative feedback continues. Hypothalamus, gonadotrophin releasing hormone. Uh, hypothalamus releases gonadotrophin releasing hormone to the anterior pituitary, follicle stimulating hormone uh, decreases and luteinizing hormone increases. Ovaries to the uh, corpus luteum regress, estradiol down, progesterone down, decrease negative feedback inhibition. Hypothalamus releases gonadotrophin releasing hormone to the anterior pituitary anterior pituitary releases follicle stimulating hormone and the luteinizing hormone a hypothalamus releases a gonadotropin releasing hormone to the anterior pituitary anterior pituitary releases follicle stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone uh, <clears throat> menopause cessation of ovaries active uh, activity in menstruation at 50 years menopause cessation of ovaries of uh, uh, menopause cessation of ovarian activity in in menstruation at 50 years menopause cessation of ovarian activity in menstruation at 50 years menopause cessation of ovarian activity in menstruation at 50 years ovaries are depleted of follicles produce no estrogen uh Luteinizing hormones and follicle stimulating hormones are high because of no negative feedback. Menopause. Ovaries are depleted of follicles, uh, produce no estrogen. Luteinizing hormone and follicle stimulating hormones are high because of no negative feedback. Lack of estrogen from ovaries is most uh, responsible for hot flashes, osteoporosis, 
increased risk of atherosclerosis. Menopause, lack of estrogen from ovaries is uh, most responsible for hot flashes, osteoporosis, and increased risk of atherosclerosis. Menopause, cessation of ovarian activity and menstruation at 50 years. Lack of estrogen from ovaries is most responsible for hot flashes, osteoporosis, and increased risk of atherosclerosis. Uh, pregnancy. Pregnancy is the presence of a developing offspring in the uterus. An event resulting from fertilization, it involves transport of sex cells, fertilization, embryonic development, hormonal changes during pregnancy, other changes during pregnancy and birth. Pregnancy. Pregnancy is the presence of developing offspring in the uterus. An event resulting from fertilization. Pregnancy is the presence of developing offspring in the uterus and uh, an event resulting in fer from fertilization. Pregnancy involves transportation of sex cells, fertilization, embryonic development, hormonal changes during pregnancy, other changes during pregnancy and birth. Uh, let's see, crosum, the sperm, and that's what it does when it penetrates the egg. Uh, the chromosome helps penetrate the egg. So that's what that's for. Uh, here's fertilization. Uh, ovulating the egg. Uh, when the egg comes uh, to cell stage. Human embryonic development. Uh, you got the secondary oocyte, egg cell, sperm cell, polaris, second polaris bodies, sperm, nucleus, egg, nucleus, estrosomes, zygote, two cell stage, four cell stage, eight cell stage, marula, inner cell, mass, blastocyte, trapho, beginning of implantation, uh months of pregnancy nine months of pregnancy nine months of pregnancy the first uh two months of pregnancy gonadotrophin increases gonadotrophin increases during the uh second month of pregnancy uh between the first and second month of pregnancy gonadotrophin peaks during the first and second month of, of pregnancy gonadotrophin peaks during the second first and second month of pregnancy estrogen and progesterone uh increases during the nine months of pregnancy estrogen and progesterone increases during nine months of pregnancy uh progester or gonadotrophin uh decreases for the rest of the pregnancy gonadotrophin decreases for the rest of the pregnancy this is the umbilical cord and the blood vessels blood uh, birth process fetal head is forced toward cervix cervix is stretched stretch receptors are stimulated reflex is illicit that causes stronger uterine contractions is elicited that causes stronger uterine contractions uh, fetus is moved downward fetal head is forced toward cervix uh, birth process mechanism fetal head is forced towards cervix cervix is stretched stretch receptors are stimulated reflex is elicited that causes stronger uterine contractions fetus is moved downward mammary glands the mammary glands are accessory organs of the female reproductive system that are specialized to produce and secrete milk after pregnancy the mammary glands are accessory organs of the female reproductive system that are specialized to produce and secrete milk after pregnancy. Uh, 
memory glands. Location of memory glands, structure of memory gland development of the breast, milk production and secretion. Uh, this is the mammary gland, glands, uh, anatomy of the mammary glands. Milk ejection from myoepithelial cells. Uh, so milk comes from the myoepithelial cells. Uh, secretion, myoepithelial cells, lumen, uh, milk, duct, ejaculation. Milk ejaculation mechanisms. Nipple or areola of breast is mechanically stimulated. Nerve impulses travel to hypothalamus. Hypothalamus signals posterior lobe of pituitary gland to release oxytocin. Oxytocin causes myoepithelial cells surrounding the alveolar glands to contract. Milk is ejected from duct system through the nipple. Milk ejection mechanism. Nipple or areola of breast is mechanically stimulated. Nerve impulses travel to hypothalamus. Hypothalamus signals posterior lobe of pituitary gland to release oxytocin. Oxytocin causes myoepithelial cells surrounding alveolar glands to contract. Milk is ejected from ductile system through nipple. Uh, myoepithelial cells create the milk uh, birthing process. Stage one. The cervix has not yet broken. That's the, the water. Uh, process two, or, or birth process, stage two, rupture of the uh, amniotic sac, birth process uh, stage three of the birth process uh step four of the birth process you got the uterus and the embryonic sac you need to get the embryonic sac or out or they can bleed to death it can and the umbilical cord there the uterus and there you go. I hope you all enjoy. This helps with your classes. Um, peace. Catch you on the next one.